The production of 2 kilowatt hours of electricity emits 1 kilo of CO2 into the air. The average office PC will go through that 2 kilowatt hours in a single workday. That means in just 7 days your computer will cause more CO2 to be released into the atmosphere than this tree can absorb in a year. You've got a computer in a couple of spare minutes. I'll show you how you can do as much good for the environment as this tree is doing. Most people manage their power options on laptops and they do it so they can extend their battery life. Not a lot of people do it on desktops, but with just a few quick changes you can reduce your power usage, which is going to save you money and help the environment. I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows XP, which has a number of options for managing your power settings. Windows XP allows you to control the power management features of your monitor, your hard drive, and the shutdown, hibernate, and standby options. How do we do this? Go down to Start, then click Control Panel. Once you've opened this window, you want to look for power options. Now, it may be that the window you're looking at isn't the same as this. Maybe you're looking at something like this. If so, then go to Performance and Maintenance, click there, and then click Power Options. And these are the default settings for Windows XP. One of the biggest users of power in your computer is the monitor. The default for Windows is set for 20 minutes, but it's not often you're using the computer without some sort of input. So you can get away with setting this to 5 minutes. The hard drive is also a big user of power. Now, it's, by default it's set to never spin down, but you can save a lot of energy by setting this to 15 minutes. The bottom section here lets you control the options for standby and hibernate. Now if there's not a hibernate option here, you might have to enable it. Go up to hibernate, and then down to enable hibernation. Make sure there's enough free disk space. If there is, click enable hibernation, then down to apply. Now go back to power schemes. Down the bottom you should see an option for hibernate. System standby is energy conserving because your entire computer switches to a low power state and devices such as the monitor and hard disk turn off and your computer uses less power. However, while everything's in memory, everything's not yet saved to the hard drive. Set this to 20 minutes. Now hibernate's a little bit different because it writes an image of what you're currently working on onto a special file. It's perfect for shutting down the computer for the night or even the weekend and when you start it back up you'll see everything exactly as you left it. Now set this for three hours. Now click apply and then OK. And that's about it. So with those few simple changes in just a couple of minutes of your time, in a few weeks you can reduce your computer CO2 production by as much as this tree can absorb in a year. And in a few months you could be doing the work of two trees. Pretty soon, you'll be affecting the CO2 levels in the environment as much as a whole park of trees.